How's it guys? My name is Owen Francis from South African Rallying Education. Thank you so much for choosing to watch this video. The purpose of this video is to discuss quality assurance and rallying inspection. I am a qualified rallying and fabrication inspector and I've worked in the, on the field and tools prior to doing my qualification inspection and under the assumption that because I know about fabrication and welding, that inspection will be very easy for me, but it was not the case. Quality assurance is the assembly of all planned and systematic actions necessary to provide adequate confidence that a product process or service will satisfy given quality requirements. Now as a welding and fabrication inspector, what, are you, what you're taught is how to inspect a weld and how to identify a defective weld from one that isn't. You also learn about your standards and specifications, welding codes, etc. But when you get onto a site, the sort of responsibility that you have involves quality assurance, for which there at the time was no education up until now. One of the things that you're responsible for as a welding and fabrication inspector is a quality management system. And this is something that involves documentation. Now, up until the point of your interview and employment and the job, if you hadn't, if you didn't have any experience with quality management systems, this is going to be probably a very difficult challenge for you to navigate a quality management system and understand why, what is important and for when. So some of the general stuff about a quality management system is in, involves a quality manual, control documents, and control records. A quality manual will include a shape policy. Uh, the manual itself, procedures and flow charts. So procedures, this is how stuff is done. Work instructions, this is how stuff is done as well and when stuff is done. Your forms, your checklists and your templates. So your forms would be, for example, your, your punch list, your request for inspection sheets, your inspection check sheets. These are some of the documents that we're talking about. And most of the time you have being employed as a new inspector, you come into sites and you, you look for, for templates for the job and particularly quality control plans and you find the templates on the system that the company has and think that it will just be applicable for the job but it's not the way things work. Quality documentation and the, the approvals is very important for every single document that you have in your quality manual to be approved for the specific project so that it complies with the contract. This is very important. The documentation I'm going to be talking about today is particularly for welding and fabrication data packs. So one of the documents you need, which is a very important document, as a data pack cover sheet. This will tell you all the information about the job and it should reflect the drawing number uh, that's contained inside the pack on the cover so you know exactly what it's for. The index, very important document to have approved because it guides exactly what's required for the actual data pack population. Your certificates, your quality control plan, also another document we just mentioned just now. Your quality control plan isn't something that you can just take off a system, copy and paste, I think that it'll, it'll work for a fabrication of piping, tanks, or vessels. It's got to be detailed and designed for the specific contract for the project. Your drawings, this is something that's so important. You come into quality assurance as a welding and fabrication inspector, it's a very technical job. And if you only have the sort of experience from the field as an artisan, it'll be a little bit challenging for you to understand because of all the different jargon, the language is a little bit different in quality as well. But also, if you have no experience as well, if you're coming from an industry that's not engineering, how would you navigate drawings? Drawings are very important. Material traceability, some guys come onto site with qualifications as welding and fabrication inspectors, but can't identify a stainless steel pipe from a mild steel pipe, an elbow from a flange. And these are very crucial attributes to have as a welding and fabrication inspector. The welding procedures also form part of the documentation. Welding traceability, how to draw, draw up a well map, what is a, a well map, the NDT reports and what they need to comply with, the sort of information that's available on the NDT report. Because most of the time, let's be honest gentlemen, the NDT techs are coming to do RT after work when everybody's gone home. Those guys are, are working till 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, they're going back to their office, they're going to process the films and they're going to interpret it and make up reports. 
it's really easy to open up a system and copy and paste. So there is instances where guys make a few typos. Now these typos can hold up a project when you're ready to hand over your data pack. Third party inspection will not accept reports that are inaccurate. So this is important to know how to review NDT reports and what they are. Your punch lists, your pressure test certificates, calibration certificates, how to carry out a punch. How do you, how do you, if you inspect it to, if you are required by your company to carry out a punch, where do you start if you just come into the industry, if you haven't had any experience in quality or inspection, but you are qualified, what is a punch? These are some of the issues that, that we address. Your water quality uh, certificates, concessions, non-conformances, request for inspection. I love this document. This is my favorite document on the project. Your inspection reports and finally your hand handover certificates. Welding and fabrication ins inspection is only a part of quality control. And the education that we receive as welding and fabrication inspectors doesn't equip, equip us to, pardon me, take on a project from scratch, set up the quality management system, set up the quality manual, identify all the documents that are required for a project from its inception right up until its handover. This is stuff that you can only get from experience. However, if you don't have any experience, now South African Welding Education has available a course, Quality Assurance and Quality Control Specialist course that can educate you on how to understand exactly what quality assurance is on a project. Welding and fabrication inspection involves inspection, verification and validation. And in this order, your inspection mainly gets carried out by your contractor. Your verification will be carried out by your third party inspector. And up until you get to site, you, if you're lucky, maybe you've heard of a, a AIA and their role. But most of the time, if you've just come from banking or the police force and you've come into quality, you've done your courses, you're getting sites, you don't understand what the third party inspector is, you don't know what his role is and what his responsibility is. And these are some of the things that we address. Your validation gets done by your client. Your client will validate the whole process and accept or reject your work with accordance to specifications. This is just some nice pictures of a hardworking guy with his data packs. One of the third party inspe in inspectors um, doing a pressure test there. Quality means doing it right when no one is looking. Quality is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort, intelligent direction, and skillful execution. It represents the wise choices of many alternative alternatives. Quality assurance is work every single day. It's about making sure that you've got a plan for your day. Prior to the day, you don't get to work and plan your day. You plan your day a day in advance, 24 hours in advance. Same like your RFI system. If you're requesting NDT or third party inspection, the request should be submitted a minimum of 24 hours before the activity is required. Same like inspection, along with a wealth of technical information that is required to make you a great inspector. Thank you so much, guys, for taking time to listen to this video. And if you have any comments, please drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.